everyone. This is Marcel Gagné. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Linux. Today we are going to talk about a very special kind of Linux, specifically Android. Now, specifically, 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 I'm going to show you how to run Android on your Linux desktop. And of course, your first question may be, but why? Well, I'll tell you. Maybe you've got a really important business application that you can only get to on your tablet or on your phone and you'd like to be able to access that. Or maybe it's like me and what you really want to do is play games. Now, to do this, we're going to actually bring up a copy of something called Remix OS. And we're going to do that with our old friend AQEMU. First of all, let's look at Remix OS. What the heck is that? Well, if you go to jide.com slash remixos for PC, you will find a download available of an image file that will allow you to install and run Android M, a.k.a. Marshmallow, Marshmallow, see, Marshmallow, Marshmallow, on your Linux desktop. All right. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is go to the download page or just click download and you will wind up with an image file. Actually, you'll wind up with a zip file that you then extract to get the ISO file. Next, we're going to fire up our old friend AQEMU after we've downloaded the image. And by the way, I will put the links to this up here in the show notes. All right, let's get that out of the way for now. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Let's create a new machine. We're going to say typical uh, OS 2.6, that's fine. KVM, that's fine. You notice I'm mostly taking the defaults here. We're going to call this Remix OS just because. Click next. Size gigabytes. 20 is probably good here. It depends on how much uh, well, how many applications you think you're going to install on this thing, or we could say, oh, I don't know, pretend this is a 32 gig tablet, shall we? Next, user mode network connection. That means we're using the same IP address and stack as we are in the Linux box. So let's say next, and we'll say finish. Now, the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to need the ISO image to boot from. We're going to go back to this in a second here, but I'm going to say CD-ROM drive, and I'm going to look for my image, which is under ISOs here, and it's called Remix OS for PC. There it is. I'm going to say OK, and let's go back to that VM tab, shall we? Now, take a look. Over here, it says 256 meg. That is not going to be enough, as we know. So I'm going to hit the little drop down here and I'm going to select 4 gigabytes. And uh, I'm going to change this from AC97 to Insonic 1370. Yes, 1370. And uh, let's so we'll give it two CPUs, shall we? Let's see. Anything else for the moment? Ah, let's leave it at that for now. Apply. All right, now it's time to boot this thing. Let's click the start button. And before we do that, I'm going to hit tab here because I want to modify something. I'm going to go install equals one and uh, we'll just hit the button here and let it boot shall we i'll bring that closer to the center of the screen here create modify partitions uh no and all right we have all our free space there we're going to say new primary i'm going to take all the space for this one then now i'm happy with it i click right and are you sure you want to write this partition to disk? Yes, I am sure. Yes. Writing partition table to disk. All right. Great. It is a bootable partition. And uh, whoops. Now I'm going to go over to quit because we're done here. There it is. QEMU hard disk. Wonderful. Okay. Yes, I do want to format it. EXT4. Yes, I do want to format it. Formatting. Do you want to install bootloader grub? Yes, I do. Do you want to install system directories read write? In this case, yes, I do. Here we go. Expect to write. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Oh, it's so hard to be patient. So very difficult to be patient. Almost there. Almost there. Sinking to disk. Yay! All right, we can just run it here, but let's reboot it, okay? Let's reboot it. Rebooting one, and away we go. There's our grub menu. Let's just hit enter, shall we? Progress. Bootloader, how very exciting. Android is starting. Remix OS. This is looking good, people. Looking very, very good. ta -de da -de -dum. Patience again. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you for happening. Hi, welcome to Remix OS. Well, thank you. I'm going to go with English just because, you know, that is what I'm speaking. In case you didn't know, yes, I agree with everything. Wi-Fi set up. All right, you're going to look for your Wi-Fi network now and set it up. This is going to look very, very familiar to what it is you're doing on a, uh, on a regular Android box. Now, as you know, we're not doing Wi-Fi here, so I'm just going to skip this because we have already attached to the network. Remember, we're using the system's uh, network device. So discover great apps. Okay, wonderful. Continue. And it gives you a sample of things you may want to install. Amazon Shopping, Let Go, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to uncheck a bunch of these things to keep the experience as clean as possible. For starters, a bunch of games here. I'm just going to say uh, Next. And uh, Useful. You know, I don't want any of these right now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's just click Next. Uh, entertainment. I don't want any of those either. I'm just gonna. I, I just want a clean install for the moment. Just for the moment. Just for now, please. Summary. No apps. We're gonna skip the setup. Yes. Finish. I would like to activate Google Play services. Yes, I will. Setup complete. Ho ho! This is exciting. All right. Next thing for you, anyway, for me, for most of us, Play Activator, because we want to be able to download applications from the Google Play Store. Double click. Activate Google Play services. Yes, let's activate. Activate, activate. Installation complete. Yes, we are done. All right, let's go to the Play Store. Double click is how we get into this. And the first time that you do this, you will be asked for your Google account information, your email or phone. So your email, uh, you know, account at gmail.com. And then we click next. If like me, you are using two-step authentication and you should be, you will be asked to enter your six digit code at this point. I'm not going to worry too much about letting you see this because, you know, it's going to be a different code next time. So there you go. Anyway, by signing in, yes, I accept. I accept. I do. I do accept. Checking info. Uh, automatically backup data. Sure. Why not? Uh, we're going to skip that right now. And there you go. And now we have access to the Google Play Store. We can install whatever games we want. Like, oh, I don't know, Clash of Clans. Let's install Clash of Clans. We'll say free, install Clash of Clans. Not that, you know, this is one of the games that I desperately need to be, I mean, uh, one of the uh, business applications that I desperately need to be able to use on my system. But uh, what's another one? Uh, what's, what's one that I do play? Uh, King of Avalon. There we go. I play that one. I play a bunch of games. In fact, if you check out my channel, my YouTube channel, you'll notice that, uh, you know, I've got a lot of video games that I play, including uh, SimCity and other things like that. The short version is uh, we can install all these apps here in the same way that we would install anything else. Now, if at any point you want to drop back out onto your desktop, you'll need to hold control alt together at the same time, and that will release the mouse cursor from the game, and then you can go back into the control panel here for AQEMU. I'm just going to minimize this for a second. We don't need to be watching that the whole time. Let's go back into our Android system here. All right, so when we're done with all that, I've only installed a couple of things here, and I'm only going to install a couple of things here, but when you're done with that, you can just right-click down here and say quit app, and that will get rid of that, and uh, if you take a look on your desktop now, I've got a couple of apps, Android apps are sitting there. Now, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, over here, you have something that looks very much like, if you'll pardon the expression, a, you know, the start button, if you will. <laughs> Uh, which gives you access to uh, you know your file manager settings, all sorts of things, including a terminal window, which if you decided to go ahead and do the read write on system, you may find useful at some point. Uh, down here as well, you can enter, uh, you know, you can take a look at your notifications. Uh, so all the stuff that you need to do to be able to access the system, whoops, we're not going to do Wi-Fi, uh, is available here. Uh, we can go into our downloads folder here. Uh, open it up, but let's just start a game, shall we? Let's start Clash of Clans, double click on Clash of Clans, and unlike your typical tablet uh, or phone or whatever, we can actually just move this around all over the place, you see? So we can actually move this game. And there we go. We are going into Clash of Clans to run it for the first time. Now, this 
often takes some getting used to because in certain places you're going to be double clicking you're going to be single clicking in other places yes i understand that it's a freemium game not really a free game uh the latest version aha aha that's right the first time through you may be forced to do something like this install the latest version of google play games that's so you can you know save where you are in the games so let's just install that dum, 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 dum. successfully installed wonderful wonderful yeah, whoops, and let's click open and uh, play now. So anyway, so now we can uh, use Google Play Games to be able to access uh, all the games that we play on the system. And that's pretty much all there's to it. I mean, uh, beyond this point, it's just a matter of, you know, going through and finding some games that you enjoy, some things that you actually, you know, want to be able to do, want to be able to play with. And, um, and I hope you have some fun. I hope to have some fun playing uh, these games on your desktop. I do already have another instance of this installed, as you probably guessed. And honestly, it's just kind of nice to be able to access some of these things without having to whip out your phone or your tablet every once in a while. But that's really all there's to it. Anyhow, if you like what I'm doing here or you'd like me to do something else, anything else, uh, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, make sure you like this video. Make sure that you, you, know, you give it the thumbs up. Share it with your friends, your family, your enemies, your neighbors. I don't really care who you share it with. Subscribe, for goodness sakes. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, it really helps if you, uh, if you tell other people about this and support the channel. And uh, we'll do more fun stuff later on. Anyhow, that's it for now for Cooking with Linux. This is Marcel Gagné, out. Talk to you later. Goodbye. All right, let's load this thing, shall we? Load. Bye for now.